Have you ever met someone that changes the way you look at the world? I recently met a guy. His name is Rodney. He's going to every state in America and he's mowing people's yards for free just to help them. So yeah, I started following him after I read an article about him and I became more and more interested in what state he was in and what he was doing and why he was doing it. And I saw that he was in Montgomery, Alabama going to Nashville, Tennessee, and I wanted to meet him real bad. So I asked him if he wanted to meet up because he was passing me on the interstate and do some kind of slow motion or something like that. I feel like this man has an uncanny ability to connect with others and motivate people. And it, pretty clear, I just lost interest in the slow-mo. I've been wanting to do slow motion lawnmower stuff my entire life. I didn't care anymore. I wanted to hear more about his story. Like What's what? up, you Rodney? Yeah, man. Nice to meet you, dude. Like what, man? You doing all right? Yeah. So you're going all across the U.S.? Yeah, I'm going across the U.S. Yeah? Yeah. You want to shoot some uh, slow-mo yeah. grass cutting real quick? Yeah, because of that. I'm going to set the camera up right over here. You okay. got your mower? Yeah, yeah. Them. So so Briggs and Stratton, like, they, they gave you this stuff? Yeah, so they're the world's largest making small, small lawnmower engines, and they, they contributed. Oh, that's awesome, man. That's fantastic. So they gave you this? Yeah, so they're like, they've been supporters since day one, like back in 2016. So they, they know what you're doing and they, they're all about it? Yeah, and to start my tour off, um, we kicked off in Wisconsin on May 17th. And to start the tour off, we made 110 loans. Really? In that one day. That's In one day you made 110? Well, with, with volunteers, like about 70 volunteers. That's insane, dude. Yeah. That's insane. Let me go get the high-speed camera, okay. and we will we will set up over there. You see the tripod over there? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna set up right over there. All right, to get this shot, Rodney's having to take the guard off of his lawnmower, and I can tell Rodney's not too happy about that. Yeah. You don't want to hurt your lawnmower, do you? No. <laughs> this oh, is. We're getting, getting there, man. This is your pride and joy, right? Oh yeah, pride and joy. Oh man, I'm sorry we're doing this, man. We'll fix it. Yeah, of course. I promise. All right, so I'm setting up the uh, the Phantom V2511. I don't know how fast we're gonna run yet. But the trick is I'm trying to beat that cloud that's trying to cover up the sun. So we're gonna try to get a shot real quick of the blade cutting the grass, see if it pulls it. Are your blades sharp? Oh, yeah, it's probably, probably a little worn down, but. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to get a shot just like that so we can see the, uh, we can see the blade cutting, yes. Okay, here we go. So Rodney, one of the big things with your program is lawnmower safety, right? Of course, lawnmower safety is very important when I teach the kids they always wear safety goggles and always have earplugs in the ears. It's very important. But what about the blade? Oh, the blade, yeah. We don't want the kids to touch the blade because they can chop their hands off. You know? Right? Yeah, so oh. it's it's a report that almost like 100 kids a year get their limbs chopped off from lawnmowers. So we're trying to teach kids safety first when it comes to lawnmowers. So, so part of the, the, the whole thing here with uh, Raising Men Lawn Care Service, it's not just boys, by the way, it's also yeah, girls, it's also right? Girls. Yeah, so part of the deal is teaching them responsibility, right? Responsibility, teamwork, leadership skills, and stuff like that. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna record a blade in slow motion and show you how how much energy is here. I mean, this this thing is, uh, it's like a little, I don't know what you call it. It could, uh, it hurts Fall. pretty quick, right? Exactly. All right, you ready? ready? Okay, so back up. Okay, start and just go straight through the frame. Don't move at all. Okay. I'm ready. Oh. Got it. Got it. Okay, so let's look at that and see what it looks like. We got grass in the, the fan blades of the coolant. Oh, don't want to do that. We got to get those out. Okay, cool. All right, so let's play this. See the blade coming around? Is that the New York Post? Yeah, that's the So he's, he can't watch oh, the no. slow-mo because the New York Post is closed. <laughs> what the heck? Sorry about that. Popular dude for mowing yards. I'm doing it right, how about yourself? Uh, yeah, well I'm in Alabama, about to be in Tennessee, yes. Yes. Yeah. So, so back, up, back in 2015 I was driving, leaving school and I came across the elderly man outside mowing his lawn. It looked like he was struggling, so I pulled over and helped him out. That night, I decided to mow free lawns for the elderly, disabled, single moms, and veterans. At the time, I was getting my bachelor's in computer science, so I thought I could mow 40 lawns by the end of winter. But I reached 40 lawns so quick that I upped my goal to 100. A month and a half later, I reached my 100th lawn, and that's when I came up with the idea of Crazy Man Lawn Care Service, where we would still mow free lawns for the elderly, disabled, single moms, and veterans, but we will also include kids ages 7 to 17 and show them the importance of giving back to the community with a little more. Yeah, that's one. When I first started, that, that was a response. I got a lot 
for free? Because a lot of people are not used to free, you know. They think something comes attached with it. But I'm trying to teach people, just because I'm cutting for free doesn't mean I want something in return. A simple thank you will do. You know, I'm doing it out of the kindness of my heart. I remember even before I started mowing lawns, it was about three years, three years before, um, I was in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. At the time, I was I, I graduated high school. I went to ITT Tech in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and things weren't working out for me. And I had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with God, asking Him to use me as His vessel. At the time, He didn't give me an answer right then and there, not a month later, not a year later, but I believe it was the moment when I came across the elderly man outside mowing his lawn. And it just turned into an organization. Now I'm doing it every single day for free. Okay, Rodney, be straight up. How many interviews have you done since Man, you started? I can't even count. Yeah. <laughs> no, I can't count. Really? It's, a lot of, it's been a lot. Why do you think that is? I'm just cutting grass. <laughs> yeah. you no, know, I think the message, the message is sending, you know, encouraging kids to get out, get outside from playing video games and come and make a difference with a lawnmower. It's pretty cool, you know. It's like the karate system as well. Cause they earn different color shirts every 10 lawns. So they start with a white Raising Man Lawn Care Service t-shirt. Once they mow 10 lawns, they get an orange, 20 a green, 30 a blue, 40 a red, and 50 a black. And once they reach 50, we fly to wherever they are, we do lawns with them, and we also give them a brand new lawnmower. So that's... How do you do that? Through Briggs and Stratton? Oh, uh, people, like supporters. We call family members, they support us, and they donate lawnmowers from our Amazon wish list, or weed eaters, and we take that, put it in the car, and travel to wherever they are. That's pretty rad, dude. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Uh, you gotta get up back on the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well. I'm gonna head to Tennessee next, so Alabama makes my 25th state, so I'm yeah. gonna head to Tennessee, 26, and yeah. start making my way, way around to the, to the south, midwest, and up, and all the way to Oregon, of course. To How do you get to Alaska and Hawaii? Oh, I fly. With your lawnmower? No, no, I, I borrow a lawnmower, or even rent a lawnmower. Yeah. From there. But that's cool, you did this last year, right? Yeah, I done it last year, so it took about 39 days. Yeah. So I was doing two or three states a day, just. And it's just you on your by yourself. Yeah, by myself in, in the car. I just last year I done two or three states a day, in and out, doing one one, just going right to the next state. But this time I'm staying a complete day in in one state. I'm doing about an average of three to four four loans. I'm also stopping the schools and organizations, talking to kids about lawnmower safety, the importance of community service, and getting kids to join our 50 yard challenge. So. The 50 yard challenge. Yeah, so you could take it on if you want to. So the 50 yard challenge, what's that? The 50 yard challenge. Are you sure you want to know? Yeah. If I tell you, you have to do it. Now. Do I have to do you it? You have to do it. Okay, what so is like it? Like I said earlier, the 50 yard challenge. If you accept the 50 yard challenge, you say you will make a sign saying, I accept the 50 yard challenge. In return, we will send you a white Raising Man Lawn Care Service t shirt. Once you mow 10 lawns, you get an orange shirt, 20 a green, 30 a blue, 40 a red, and 50 a black. So it's like the karate belt. You're like, what the? Yeah. <laughs> right, you're a party so you're, you're a black boat in moon. Yeah. And once, once you reach your 50th lawn, we fly to wherever you are, we do lawns with you, and we also give you a brand new lawnmower. So that's the 50 yard challenge thing. And so, what, to be clear, you're not just mowing yards, you're mowing specific types of yards, like yeah. people that need it, right? Exactly. People that need it, only the elderly, disabled, single moms, and veterans, and it's completely free. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Can, yeah. You want to, what can I do for you on the way out? Accept the 50 yard challenge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. I accept the 50 yard challenge. So he has his whole life to complete it. I can do this, okay. Yeah. I can do 50 in my lifetime. I, That's yeah. awesome, but it has to be for other people. Yeah, for the elderly, disabled, single moms, and veterans. Rock and roll, man. Rock and roll. That's an awesome idea. All right. Thank you. So what's your favorite state to mow? Oh. I like, like last year, I don't know, be Oregon and Port Portland. Portland and Washington. Washington State is very beautiful up there, very clean. I really enjoyed uh, Utah. Dude, uh, Utah, I know this sounds crazy, but when I was a kid, yeah. the guy across the street from me was in a wheelchair and okay. his wife was blind. Yeah. And my dad had me mow his yard, yeah. but the guy wanted to pay me, so he paid me 10 bucks. He moved to, uh, he moved to Washington. Okay. And those people, man, they're super smart people. They changed the way I look at everything, dude. Great people. So. Not only, I think there's a relational, well, I guess that's the whole point is relationships, isn't it? Yeah. So, like, those people, man, they changed my life because I didn't know the word engineer until I met him. Yeah? Yeah, and I learned it because I mowed his yard. That's crazy. That's pretty yeah. cool. See, like, small moments like that can change your life forever, like, you know? I know. Because you're an engineer right now, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, so that's, at that moment. That's pretty rad, dude. I appreciate what you do, man. Thanks, man. It's really it. cool, yeah. All right, I hope you enjoyed meeting Rodney as much as I did. Um, it's it's not so much what he's doing, that's kind of why I started following him on Instagram because he's very interesting, he's going to different places and helping people. 
but it's what he motivates others to do. He motivated me to help other people in a way I've never even thought about. And he's motivating kids to get outside and do things and help others. He's making the world more others focused. And that's huge. That's a really big deal. So I'll leave links down below. Feel free to follow him and support him in all those different ways. I'll leave those below. Please actually check out his page. It's really interesting. I'm Destin. You're getting smarter every day. Have a good one.